All right, afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Rob Bunger with uh, Schneider Electric. Uh, also, I've been working with the Open Compute uh, community for uh, a little over two years. I was the project lead in the data center facility, and now I'm the incubation committee rep for the data center facility. Um, our rack product manager uh, and the guy that worked for him was supposed to be here, but they, they both decided to take vacation this week, so, uh, so you're left with me. So I'll do my best to answer any questions that you have. Um, but I'm just going to quickly cover the uh, open, uh, uh, open rack submission that uh, Schneider Electric's doing. So it's uh, actually take this off. Pretty, pretty straightforward. This is um, <clears throat> uh, a 12 volt derivative of the uh, to meet the uh, open rack standard 2.0. And the document, documentation that we're submitting is uh, we have an orderable SKU, AR6641. Uh, uh, we've got a data sheet, 2D uh, submittal drawings, both in uh, AutoCAD DWG format PDF, as well as a 3W, 3D um, AutoCAD, and, and of course this PowerPoint. And uh, uh, the plan is to do some uh, you know, initial pilot stocking in North America as well as Europe. So the uh, specs for this rack, uh, so the height of this one is uh, uh, a little bit over 2,000 millimeters. The width, of course, is 600, and the depth is 1067. It's a 41 OU, uh, and, uh, and, and the mounting rails are, are 21 inch. Um, it's been tested up to uh, 1,400 kilograms, both uh, uh, dynamic and static. And um, for the electrical, it's a 12 volt DC, uh, one bus bar, one zone, and um, the uh, it's 250 millimeter cross-sectional area, which gives you, you know, about 857 amps. So it's uh, it's intended to be uh, compatible with the power shelf uh, that we submitted, which is a uh, 15 kW, which I'll I'll show you here in a second. So just some of the testing that we did on this shelf, we did uh, static testing, uh, dynamic rolling testing with 1,400 kilograms in it. Uh, we did a six millimeter step test uh, with the weight in it five times, did a one inch gap test and uh, uh, a five degree ramp test. And, and uh, I didn't include the photos of this part of it, but if anybody's rolled uh, 1,400 kilograms up five degrees of a ramp, it takes quite a number of people to do that safely. So uh, <laughs> um, it's possible, but you know, again, it uh, uh, takes a lot of effort. And then uh, these are some of the typical uh, shipping standards that you want to meet uh, for, for a rack and just have those listed there. <clears throat> so. The compatibility, I just, uh, this is the, the Gemini uh, power shelf we had submitted just a couple of months ago, and 15KW uh, in plus one, and this is a, a pretty straightforward power shelf, 12 volts. It does have an input ATS for the, for the whole shelf, and it's a, it's a modular ATS. Uh, it's actually, it, it occupies one of the, uh, the slots on the upper left-hand side. 2OU in height. Uh, this is 208 to 240 volt AC input. Um, does not go up to, to 277. We were, use, we were using an existing uh, uh, power module design that we had used basically over in uh, uh, outside of North America. Um, hot pluggable modules, 80 plus platinum. So it's 94% efficient in the 50 to 80% range. And the BBU is a little bit different. So the BBU shelf uh, directly connects to the, the bus bar. And uh, you can actually connect uh, from a communications perspective up to two shelves if you wanted a little bit longer run time than the nominal, like 120 seconds. And you can just kind of see it a little bit in the drawings uh, where there's two slots and two places to, uh, to connect uh, power shelf and then the, bus, uh, the uh, BBU. Um, so from a OCP tenants perspective, uh, you know, efficiency, you know, electrical efficiency, 94, and uh, it supports centralized PSU with a bus bar distribution, which over obviously traditional IT, there's, there's, a, there's a big savings in uh, the number of power supplies you have to purchase. Um, from scale, it can support uh, fully integrated racks up to 1400 kilograms, uh, up to 15 kW, and uh, again, from a scale, uh, you know, our intention, we have a global supply chain uh, and channel. So, uh, you know, we're hoping to make this available to um, anybody that's looking to adopt open compute. Uh, and I think that's about it. Does anybody have questions about the rack or potentially the PSU?
except for Bill. I got a question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm curious with the four, you know, um, four rectifiers, how do you uh, do phase balance across that? Okay, so this has six, and it's, uh, so. Oh, I'm sorry, so there's, there's so, six, and then there's an, uh, oh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, so just so this, the way this is laid out, on the left-hand side, upper left is a little, is the, is the ATS, so if you have it configured for 15 kW and plus one, that'd be an ATS if you want a dual feed for your 15 kW. Uh, below that's your communication card, um, okay. Make, and then six, six modules. I was thinking there was either seven or eight in there. So. Yeah, and you can configure it if you want two in. You can have A and a B feed and have three modules, three modules. So you could do 9KW, two in if you wanted to do that. Can you run without the ATS? Yes. Okay. Yes. You talked about a CBU option. Yes. Do you have any more details? I know you weren't the, the guy who's supposed to be here, but do you have any more details on that? It's... Uh, 2 OU high. <laughs> it'll be uh, how many modules? Is it six? It'll be, it's six module. And to match this, it should give you about 90 or 120 seconds, 120 seconds at the 15 KW in the 2 OU with six modules. You're welcome. Uh, which lithium chemistry, I'm, I'm not sure. The, and just to let you know, the submission was the power shelf. Uh, we do have a BBU option, but we hadn't submitted that, so. All right, any, any other questions? Great, thanks for your time and attention, appreciate it.